everyone and welcome to my channel it's Dani um, if you are new to this channel welcome like I said my name is Dani and if you are already a subscriber thank you so much for being here I appreciate every single one of you I'm so excited okay today's video is another of those chatty videos where I sit in here and talk to you and give you tips and everything about knitting and crochet because that's what this channel is about so in this video I'm gonna give you five tips these are my most precious tips to make a hat or to knit a hat that will actually fit your head or your baby's head or whoever you're making this hat for and if you have been following me for a long time especially on my Instagram you already know that before all this situation, this worldwide situation that's going on right now, I used to do a lot of markets and I used to make hundreds of hats for each market. And I'm telling you, hundreds of hundreds of hats. So that's what we are talking about today. If you wanna know all the tips that I'm gonna give you, keep watching the video. And before we get started, I want to thank Bellish for sponsoring today's video. We're going to be using their app to explain you some of these tips. Um, but I want to give you a big disclaimer and everything that I'm going to be sharing with you is obviously my personal opinion. This is what I do to make my hats and the rules, not the rules, but the things that I do in order for my hat to fit. Everything that I'm saying is obviously not set on stone. It is not mandatory. This is not, oh, Danny said it, so it's gotta be that way. It's not. So I don't want you to think that everything that I'm saying, this is how it should be because it's not. We don't have to be that hard. We don't have to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> we can all have different opinions we can all knit and make things different okay so i'm gonna move a little bit on the side and as i did on my previous video i'm gonna be sharing my screen right here so if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking at my ipad where i'm going to be designing this hat and as i do this i'm gonna be telling you the tips that works for me to make my hats and Aside from my iPad, I will also have a measuring tape because this is, you need a measuring tape to make a hat that's gonna fit your head. Like you need measurements, so you need a measuring tape, okay? Stop talking too much and let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm in the Bellish app and as you can see, super colorful as always. Okay, so let's go and at the bottom in here where it says start a new design, and I'm gonna hit toddlers even though it says toddlers it is not just for toddlers it is all baby sizes so you can hit that and you'll find all the baby sizes and I'm going to be making a hat for my son I want to make every single hat in every single color for my baby he's almost 11 months by the time you're watching this video he's already 11 months which is crazy um, so yeah I'm making a hat for my son and I'm gonna head in here, Bini, and I explained everything how this app works um, in my previous video. So if you haven't watched that, I will leave the link right here so you can go ahead and check that out. I'm not gonna go like into every single detail of how the app works. I'm gonna show you the things that I find super helpful in this app that I do and that I use all the time when designing or making a hat. Okay, so then on the top right, top left, man, I'm bad today. I will head um, fitted because I want the hat to be fitted. And then for ribbon, you guys know I love folded, uh, folded ribbon and then pom-pom. I always leave no pom-poms. And in here, you can see there are some new stitches, which is great. And I'm going to go with the cross stitch this time. So that looks fantastic. Now next I'm going to be choosing the yarn weight and you guys know I love my chunky yarn but in here the <coughs> chunkiest that I have is worsted weight so I'm gonna choose worsted weight and then here is where the important 
part begins. So in here you're gonna choose your size and like I said my son is almost a year old so I'll choose 12 months. And in here we're gonna start with tip number one and that is get your measurements. You need measurements to make a hat that's gonna fit that head, right? And if you don't have that person because you're selling it or because it's a gift, you can um, check online, go on Google and check average head sizes and you're gonna get tons and tons and tons. And obviously these are all average. So the first measurement that you're gonna need is the head circumference. So grab your tapest your tapestry needle. No, don't grab your tapestry needle. <laughs> grab your um, measuring tape and you're gonna measure above the ear. Sorry, that's very loud. You're gonna measure above the ear. And in this case, my head is 22 and a half inches, which is pretty average. So that's the fir first measurement that we need. And then the second one is the length of your hat, which is basically from um, the middle of your head, on top in here, underneath your ear. And if you are like, okay, is this the center? It's not, just make it easier, make it simple, and measure from like the bottom of your ear to the other bottom of your ear, and that measurement cut it in half, and that's gonna be the length of your head, which is the length of your hat. If you don't have all these measurements, this is where this app is super helpful because in here it's gonna tell you every single measurement. So the head circumference, so the head circumference and also the length. And in here it's telling me that the head circumference for my son's head, it is 18 inches. I haven't measured his head yet, but I believe that this is average and I'm sure my my son is an average head. And one of the important things that you need to notice is that underneath the 15.25 inches that you can see on the screen, it says negative ease. Negative ease is simply the difference between your size head circumference and the size of your hat. So in here, this is telling me that the hat, it's going to be three inches smaller than the head circumference, which, it, which is pretty good. What I usually do, what I usually say is that my hat needs to be 10 to 15% smaller than the head circumference. But this is also going to depend on the yarn that you're using. If you are using super chunky, um, it's not super stretchy, it's not super flexible like worsted weight. Worsted weight, it is super, super flexible because it's smaller, right? So I would say that 15, 10 to 15% smaller is what I go for. But in here, you don't have to worry about because the app tells you already that it is, that's the negative ease, it's three inches. So that is fantastic. And that's the tip number one, get all your measurements now. Let's hop into the app again and let's finish it. Let's let's finish the pattern. So in here, I'm just going to choose. I haven't chosen the color yet, but I will just put green because that's probably what I'm going to go for. And in here, you can choose different colors and that's going to be super helpful if you want to make a hat that has two or three different colors because the app is going to tell you the amount of yarn that you need per color, which is amazing. And then we go to the next one. And in here, you can get the materials, the yarn, and the pattern instructions. So I'm going to go with the pattern instructions. And as you can see this on the screen, I'm going to continue telling you the other tips. So we had the measurements, okay? That's the first thing that you need to do. Then the second tip that I was telling you about is the negative ease, which means make the hat smaller than the head circumference. Don't go online and check, okay, um, kid has a 20 inch head circumference, I'm gonna make a hat that is 20 inches. No, you have to make it smaller. Like I said, 
always go for 10 to 15 percent smaller than the head circumference and that's how your hat is going to turn out fine um so that's tip number two make it smaller tip number three is select your yarn and in here you have options too they will tell you or they will recommend some yarn to use so that's also extremely helpful if you are a newbie and you don't know what kind of yarn you should choose to make a hat they will give you all the options in my personal opinion i would avoid any hard and stiff yarn like i wouldn't make a hat with cotton for example but that's personal personal preference i don't find that cotton has a lot of elasticity um that's why i wouldn't use it maybe some of you would and again that's personal preference i would 100 percent recommend wool any kind of wool blend acrylic or uh, like i said a blend of acrylic and wool 100 percent acrylic it's gray that's what i make most of my hats off and some 100 percent merino wool they're also super nice but again not all fibers have a lot of elasticity so i would recommend trying to find one that has that elasticity and again the app will give you options which is great if you don't know where to start or where to look for tip number four is to use different size needles and this is going to be extremely helpful helpful <laughs> to um, make a hat that it's more professional and that it's and that it looks better and that it fits better and this is another thing that the app already has and again it's amazing that they do this and i would always recommend to using smaller needles to make the ribbon of your hat and then the right size needles for the body in my tutorials i don't use i don't do this all the time because it's just easier for me to tell you make your hat with nine millimeter knitting needles and then you don't have to have two or three different sizes like not everybody has that not everybody has interchangeable knitting needles and that's okay you can make a hat with one size but if you want the best results you want to make your hat with at least two different sizes needles and that is because again, you want your ribbon to be nice and snug around your head and that it's not gonna be stretching a lot um, after wearing it for a long period of time. So for example, if you're using a super chunky yarn, I would make the body with a 10 millimeter, but the ribbon, I will do it with either nine or eight millimeters. So you can go one or two sizes down, That's up to you um, but i would go at least one so if you have the chance of switching knitting needles i 100 percent recommend doing it and this is something that the app also tells you to um, in here you can see that um, on the cast on it says that you i need to use a 3.75 millimeters knitting needles and then for the body and that's to make the ribbon right and then for the body it says to switch to 4.5 millimeter and then my last tip is to make the hat a little bit longer and how i do this is i have the length that i want my hat to be so once i reach that length then I start decreasing and closing the hat. Or if you are not doing any decreases at the end and you're just pulling to close, make your hat like half an inch or a little bit longer and then pull to close. And this is because you don't want a hat that then you're gonna try it on and it's gonna be like half on your ear and it's not gonna cover anything especially if you live in Canada and the winter is freezing cold you want a hat that is covering your ears so that is another big thing that you need to keep in mind is that it doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer because you can pull it back maybe you can fold it a little bit 
whatever but if it's too short if it's too small there's nothing you can do so always go a little bit longer you want that to be a little bit longer than too short if you happen to make it perfect amazing but if not I would recommend like I said going a little bit longer um, and so another good thing about the app is that it will tell you um, the length the measurements so it tells you the amount of rows but it also tells you the um, measurements and that's amazing because you can follow that so if you're new if you're a beginner this app will be super super helpful especially like I said if you are selling your hats or gifting your hats um, especially selling you want the hat to fit your customers head that's like number one so um, yeah those are my five tips I'm going to put them in here again so if you want to screenshot you can uh, totally do that and again these are things that I do all the time every single day whenever I'm making a hat I really hope that these tips were helpful for you that um, you learned something new if you did please leave a comment below let me know um, if you have a suggestion for another video that you want me to talk about you can also leave it down below and remember always in the description of this video I will leave the links to everything everything that I used to make this video and I will also leave the link for you to download the Bellish app right now is only available on iOS which is Apple devices um, but I know they're working on Android so that's super cool you can stay tuned for that and again thank you so much Bellish for sponsoring today's video please go check the app. It is amazing. It's worth to have. It is free, you guys. You don't need to pay anything to have it. So go ahead and get it for yourself. Do yourself a favor and have this amazing tool on your phone, on your iPad, because you never know when you're going to need it. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I hope it was super helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.